Wow. Oh, oh! McDonald's haul. I'm just gonna try it real quick for you guys before I go. Mmm, they were really good. My room is a mess. Hi guys, so it is currently. Oh my god. <laughs> 11.38 and I'm gonna be doing like a weekend vlog so this is like a Friday night and just to like show you guys what I do on the weekends um can I get two junior chickens and then a large fries and a 10 piece spicy chicken nugget oh Big Mac sauce <laughs> can we also get McChicken sauce for the nuggets can we get extra McChicken sauce sorry <laughs> dude it's Big Mac and McChicken sauce the same. oh oh I can't drive Julia. anymore. I should have been I hit the car up today. That was early. so rough. I think she's done too much driving. This girl, she works an hour away from her house, pretty much, okay, with traffic. Yeah. She goes to school pretty much an hour away. She is constantly driving for like 10 hours a day. Like today, I think I've gone delirious. I hit the curb earlier today. Dude, you've done too much driving. I know. I think I did something else too. But I remember being like, oh shit, twice while I was driving. Dude. That was a rough one. I shouldn't be allowed to drive anymore. We were watching the Lizzie McGuire movie. I never get the house to myself. Literally, I haven't been home alone like this in like ever. My dad's gone this weekend. My mom is at my older sister's house because she's like has vertigo or whatever. So she's helping her. My brother's out. My sister, she's out as well. Joel is out. Literally. That's so crazy. Everybody, at least somebody's home. And yeah, always somebody. Like at least one person is home. But I mean, my mom is supposed to be home. Not anymore. She's supposed to bring us McDonald's because we were just like all craving the greasy ass McDonald's but she ended up staying with Brittany like my sister who's sick so it's like 11 40 now so me and Julia were like we're getting hungry because we've been waiting for this McDonald's so my mom transferred me money so thank you mom for buying us oh, McDonald's yes, thanks so much I just dropped it seat's so complicated <laughs> it went inside the little crack right after I say this I dropped my wallet <laughs> Wait, 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 keep your hand there, keep your hand there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this up. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes! Yes! That was the most extravagant wallet drop I've ever done. Joel took my car, so I couldn't drive. Poor thing had to drive all the way to my house and then drive us to McDonald's. But anyways, this is how I'm spending my Friday night. Usually we spend our Friday nights together because we don't we see each other. We don't really see each other during the week because we don't go to school together. Only for a bachelor. Yeah, only for a bachelor. And then and once that ends, then we can just can, can be more dance with the stars. Too. Yes. More of the story. This is usually what my Friday nights look like. There's like really nothing else to do here with COVID. Honestly, <laughs> like we're just like such homebodies that it's like it makes it okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I would do if I was like like a big extrovert, social butterfly. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. Like, thank God we're homebodies. I know because it's it not, doesn't mind. Like, I don't, yeah. it doesn't bother me as much as it. Yeah, like it it does people. it does bother me sometimes. Like I get like antsy, but it's like not bad. Yeah, they're the spicy nuggets, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my that clear. Trying the spicy um, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Because Julia tried to order them. She said like the last time that she was at McDonald's, and they didn't give her. They gave me the freaking regular ones. And I didn't want to go back to the drive-through and ask for the other ones. Yeah. So I sat there grumpy and eat. <laughs> <laughs> sat there miserable. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know that they came out with spicy McNuggets. And then once I heard it, I'm like, oh, I have to try those because what can that like? The, I feel like it's gonna be like more se um, seasonful, more flavorful. Yeah. I think like the seasoning is supposed to be like really good on them. McDonald's is like the ultimate at best when you're like you craving it craving it um when you just had spent out and like drinking mm -hmm. but yeah i feel like if you're just like looking to like buy lunch mcdonald's is just doesn't hit the no. same like that, that just goes to show that mcdonald's is really shitty yeah <laughs> because other than that you don't, you don't want, want it. it have you seen that show or that um experiment that the guy did that he only ate mcdonald's thank, thank you. you thank you me too it was that movie the documentary series where that guy ate mcdonald's for like a couple months um, straight um super size me. super size we me. watched that pe like, no oh, not it was pe yeah it was pe we remember when we did like in the in class stuff for pe yeah 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 okay that was disgusting yeah i can never do that i feel so disgusting oh my god you do it so mcdonald's haul Literally first face mask I've done in, I don't even remember the last time, but it feels so good. It's gonna cleanse my skin and we're gonna be good to go. We did the same one. Kind of greeny.
What is up? So it's currently like 4.30 it's Saturday and we're just going to take Zeus out on a walk We're just going to a new trail that we've never been to before because I want to try something new Because it's supposedly gonna be the last like beautiful sunny day out for like the next couple or next week or so So I want to take advantage of it. I was basically doing nothing today I was just relaxing because obviously it's the weekend. I was literally doing nothing. I slept in I was watching some Netflix in the morning some YouTube videos catching up on all of that Yeah, but I just like felt gross and I wanted to get out of the house because I just hate sitting inside all day when it's like a beautiful day. So that's what we're doing. Also, I got this like um, dog car cover. I don't know if you guys can see it in the back here, but it's so perfect for Zeus because it literally like encapsulates him in this. So it's not getting my seats dirty. It's like a little crib or hammock back there. It's so nice. It was from Amazon. Okay, we just got to the destination and I found that he really wants to go. I found this new kombucha. It's a raspberry lemonade. So I'm just gonna try it real quick for you guys before I go, just to give you my thoughts. Oh shit, this is gonna explode. Anyways, cheers. Mmm, I literally am in love with kombucha. Like, it's my favorite thing. But anyways, very good. Let's go. So I got a ham and tempura roll and I got a chicken teriyaki roll. No wasabi, extra ginger because I do not like the wasabi, but I absolutely love having the ginger with it. I'm so excited to eat this. And I also got agadashi tofu. I'm totally botching that. Agadashi tofu is just like deep fried tofu with sauce like on the side, so both and Hey guys, so before I go to bed, I just wanted to pop in here and say thank you to Life Sputter for sponsoring this portion of the video. So they sent me a little package that I've already used, but I just put it back in here because it's just so cute, like yellow, you guys know I'm in love with yellow. How cute is this literal box I'm obsessed? So they sent me an anti-cellulite cream and it's all made in the USA. They sent me a dry brush and they sent me a coffee scrub to use like in the shower. So what this is specifically for is that it helps people with cellulite. It has some sort of science behind it. So it reduces the volume of fat cells that like appear as cellulite. So cellulite isn't something that I personally struggle with, um, but I know that in the future I can totally get it um, as my body changes and as I grow older. Um, it's something that everyone's prone to, like your body is always changing, so you never know. And I know that for a lot of people out there, you may not feel so confident in your skin because of it. So I really like what Life's Better doing because it created products to help you with that. So all their products are cruelty-free, paraben-free. They have natural ingredients and they're good for all skin types. I pretty sensitive skin and I like it's been working perfectly for me it's honestly so moisturizing too like oh, it smells so freaking good and it just like soaks into the skin so what I have been using it for is just kind of like putting it around like my thighs and my butt area just to like prevent I guess cellulite from forming um, as my body gets older and grows so and in those spots that I put it I kind of feel my skin like kind of more like tight kind of like I got like a skin lift I don't even know if that makes sense even though I didn't start off with cellulite I can so see how this like would work and they I was reading the reviews on this like from women who have cellulite and they were raving about it. So it also came with this bamboo brush. It has like natural bristles. And basically you just kind of dry brush your skin to get it prepped for the moisturizer. It also can do some exfoliating as well. The motion of like rubbing this on your skin just dry. It helps improve like your circulation to help with like draining toxins and all that stuff. And this makes like your skin like more plump after like using these two together. My skin just feels new. And also their coffee scrub is so good. It literally smells like coffee beans. I love the smell of coffee. This is like the best thing for me. So good for exfoliating. Making your skin just like glow. After I do this, I'll do the dry brush like exfoliator shave with the cream on and oh my gosh i literally feel like i was just like had a spa treatment it's so good i honestly didn't really know there was anything you could do for cellulite but i did know that there was like obviously a lot of girls that struggle with it and their confidence i feel like life's butter is definitely making a difference in a lot of women's lives who struggle with that so if you guys struggle with cellulite or want to prevent cellulite i would totally suggest this but yeah everything is made with natural ingredients and if you guys want to shop them, I will put all the info in the description if you guys want to check them out. Yeah, I'm just going to go to bed now because I am exhausted, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Hello you guys, so it is currently 11 o'clock a.m. and me and my mom are going to the mall because she wants to get a new like desk desktop computer for our house because the one that we have at home now is like literally like 50 years old like it's so old okay maybe not that old but it's like pretty much a dinosaur we're like just slow and viruses and not working properly so she wants to get a new one for our household so we're going to the apple store in the mall and she, i think she's gonna get like an imac or something so that's exciting we just went to breakfast and i got a pumpkin spice latte it was so good yeah my mom just ran into the grocery store right now because she just needs to get a couple of things so i'm just waiting in the car but i came to the mall with her like to help her with the computer stuff and whatever but i also really want to go to aritzia and get some new masks i really want to get a puffer mask for the winter because honestly like i was wearing this mask like the whole car ride because of how like cold it is right now and like my face was cold and honestly wearing a mask outside i honestly think i would continue doing it regardless of the pandemic because it keeps your face so much warmer and usually like when i'm cold the main reason why i'm cold is coming from literally my face because your face is like exposed so wearing a mask just keeps it so warm to be honest so i really want to go to ritzy and get like a puffer mask or something um and i just want to get a couple like more masks because i just feel like i don't have enough i had a beige one from them the one that i used to always wear and i lost it i literally have no idea where it went i'm sure it'll show up somewhere maybe it's like on the floor in my car or somewhere in my room i need to clean my room today by the way that's something i need to do maybe it's in my laundry bin actually but anyways this is my go-to hairstyle now like a newly discovered hairstyle for when my hair is so greasy there's literally nothing on planet earth to do with it so i wear a hat and then i just literally braid my hair in two braids just like not like french braids or anything just like literally just like two regular braids and it's the best thing ever like it's so quick and it's cute it just keeps your hair away and wearing the hat covers your greasy roots so it doesn't matter what's going on up above so that's a little hairstyle tip for you guys if you guys have really greasy hair because by the end of the week like i only wash my hair once a week and by the end of the week my hair is absolutely disgusting right now but it's perfect because I have a soccer game tonight and it's pouring rain so it doesn't really matter anyways. Anyways, I'm thinking about or I kind of already decided on it. I want, I'm going to get a keratin treatment for my hair. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a relaxing treatment for your hair that like makes it not frizzy, easier to manage after you wash it, easier to style. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that my hair is just very frizzy and very hard to manage and it takes me like an hour and a half to straighten it or longer. So I really want to try it out. Let me know if you guys have any experience with keratin treatments. Please leave me a comment down below if you liked it or whatever because i think i already decided on getting it because i feel like it's just worth the money because it's gonna make my life a lot easier anyways i've been talking for too long i'll see you guys after the mall <laughs> Okay, so we just got back from the mall and my mom, well, she didn't buy these at the mall, she got them at the grocery store, but she bought two flavors of Smart Sweets and these ones are, they're called Sour Melon Bites and I've never tried them before and you guys know that I'm literally obsessed with Smart Sweets, so we're gonna give them a taste. Oh, they smell very potent. Ooh, yeah. they're cute, they're like half slices. Mm -hmm. They're good. Mmm, they're really good. I like the ones that have like the powdered sugar on them, like the sour sugar, and these ones have it. I don't think there's a flavor of Smart Sweets that I don't like. None of them disappoint. Anyways, so I got, as I was saying before, I got some new masks, and I got this Super Puff, and then I got this pink one, just to have an extra one. So here is the Super Puff. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. Sorry, the camera doesn't focus when I have a mask on because it doesn't even like recognize my face. It's so warm. It's not fuzzy on the inside, but it has like a warm kind of like inside. It's like very, it's like soft on the inside. And so this is going to be good for being outside like in the winter. Honestly, it's like a jacket for your face. And I was debating between getting the white or the black, but then my mom was like, get the black because the white is going to get dirty, which is true, especially wearing makeup. It's going to get like all orange on the inside, which is kind of gross. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. And the straps are adjustable too, so it can pretty much fit like anything. And then here is the pink one that I got. It has like a nose thing which I like and it's actually really like light and comfortable and I really like the light pink color it's so cute the straps are adjustable on this one as well this is actually like feels really light on my face which is nice and then my mom got a blue one a green one they were on sale so she got uh, like a silver gray and then like a silky <coughs> kind of one this one I find is more kind of fancy for like a nicer outfit I guess yeah that's my little mask haul and then I just got like two under armors like for soccer so that's not very exciting so I'm not gonna show that but that's all I got my mom's splurge on some clothing as she should
Okay, so it's currently literally pouring rain and I'm about to go to my soccer game. Um, usually they're at six o'clock on Sunday, so that's a vibe for tonight. Wish me luck. I'm gonna be literally soaking wet when I come home. Let's go, Weezy. Wish me luck. I'm literally gonna get soaked. <laughs> what's up so if you couldn't tell i just took a shower okay, i'm not gonna lie like i didn't just take a shower i took a shower i watched some youtube videos i ate dinner had some desserts and had tea after my soccer game i was drenched like it was pouring rain out tonight and i like my jersey was so soaked like it was dripping water i'm so tired right now everything was wet disgusting and i just feel so good right now after having my tea and relaxing but it is like 11 o'clock right now and i sit Sitting down watching YouTube videos for probably like around an hour and I should have gone up and done this earlier but I was just so tired I'm still so like I'm gonna pass out tonight you guys my room is a mess I don't I don't like going to a Monday with having my room a mess it's not that bad I'm not like that's an over exaggeration saying it's like horrible like it's not that bad it's just like clothing on the floor the pile of clothing anyways I have to do laundry that's why we're in this room I have to do laundry because my shit is soaking wet I literally wish you guys can see how disgustingly wet this shit is Ew, it stinks. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Okay, so I just discovered that there's towels in here and I have to fold them even though I'm literally so tired But because there's towels in there So in order to put my disgusting stinky soccer stuff in the wash We need to fold these towels because I just feel bad like taking them out and not folding them So you're welcome mom because I know you're watching this because I already know all my siblings would just put the towels on the floor So I'm not gonna do that mom. I'm gonna fold them. You're welcome. Okay, laundry just went in and now we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna see how much mess there is for me to clean and if it's not that bad, I'm just gonna do it tonight. So one thing I'll do quickly Sunday night is or every night that I am like working the next day is I'll go into my calendar and I will just like check what I have to do the next day to mentally prepare myself one. And also if I have like an appointment or whatever and I forgot about it, like it'll there to remind me you know what i mean so i just like checking that every single night just to plan ahead a little bit and be mentally prepared okay here sadly is the damage you guys it's not even that bad to be completely honest just a little my usual mess that i make during the week so we're gonna do not a montage but i'm just gonna snap and then this is gonna be cleaned because it's something different and i feel like this vlog is already pretty long so anyways Okay, she is tidy and I'm going to bed. I'm literally going to pass out because this is gonna literally gonna be the best sleep of my freaking life. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. That was my weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, it's a little different every single weekend because I do different things. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.